now, mm. and parts of Britain are on an amber warning, with forecasters predicting that temperatures could reach 35 degrees by the end of the week. Well, the extreme heat is causing some mysterious ghostly shapes to appear, and Lucy is on the case. <laughs> When you're searching for buried treasure, X rarely marks the spot. I bet Indiana Jones never had this problem. I'm looking for an ancient burial site, but standing in this farmer's field, it's not as easy as you might think. Take to the skies, however, and all is soon revealed. The man who discovered this Bronze Age burial mound is Dr Toby Driver, an aerial archaeologist with the Royal Commission. What we've got here is an incredibly important sacred monument. It was, four and a half thousand years ago, a burial mound, but thousands of years of plough levelling have mean it's vanished from the landscape. A computer reconstruction shows what this burial mound would have looked like, but it's from the air that the remains of this huge circular mound can really be seen. We're seeing crop marks where somebody in 4,000 years ago has dug a ditch. It's like a compost heap under the ground and the green grass is only growing over the buried archaeological ditch. Elsewhere, it's burnt off, and that's the difference we're seeing. That's the crop mark. We need these dry summers for the archaeology to show. That's the only time the crops show these amazing marks of these lost sites. And it's all thanks to this current heat wave that just two weeks ago, Toby took to the skies and discovered a brand new feature. Within the circle, is this rectangle, a grave cut, with very, very faint ditches around it. This is different. This is a characteristic burial site from the early Christian period, about 1,500 years ago, just after the Romans left Wales. This is the first evidence, it seems, for Christian burial in this entire valley. It's, it's brand new. We've only known about it for a week. We've invited pupils from nearby Uzgol Pentloin to share in Toby's new discovery. And that shows us the, the length of this grave. You've never really expected that you've been running over something that's been here for thousands of years. It's just a shock to discover that there's been people under these fields. We're standing on history. I think it's really cool. The first thing I'm going to do is go to school and then tell all my other friends and then go and tell my family and they'll be amazed. Recording all this new archaeology requires long hours in the cockpit. And all that work has to be done before the heat wave ends and the crop marks vanish, possibly for years to come. That's why I'm joining Toby and his pilot, Ryan Williams, on another monument-finding mission. Permission to come aboard, Captain. Hello, Lucy. Hello. We're all ready to go. feet, Toby and Ryan have found upwards of a hundred new sites this summer, including Bronze Age Barrow cemeteries, prehistoric settlements, including one with a possible Roman villa inside it, which would have looked something like this, Iron Age farmsteads, like this one, and even a Roman fortlet. Today, we're heading 10 miles south of Haverford West, so will the landscape below us yield yet more secrets? Barely 15 minutes into the journey, we're in luck. We have an entirely new settlement on our, on our left here. What you're seeing there is a ditch. So somebody's dug a ditch to defend their house. And it's square, it's got some Roman influence, and that's a family farm of maybe 2,000, 2,300 years ago. They've got a, a gateway on the right-hand side. That's your front door in. That gateway is as clear as anything. Clear as day. I cannot put it into words. I, all I can say is I wish everybody had this experience. Toby photographs the site. I've got that recorded. So he can analyse all his findings in the months to come. I'm a lucky man. I love finding new archaeology. And after a summer like this, my word, you know, it's pretty exciting, isn't it? Thanks to the heat wave, Toby's discoveries are helping to challenge decades of learning. It's been a history-making summer for all sorts of reasons. But it's from the sky that our ancient past is truly revealing itself in greens and yellows like never before.
Lucy. Well, That's Lucy, it. yeah, it is. But she was in Aberystwyth there. We're working mm. her very hard today because she's off making more discoveries. So these sites haven't just appeared in Wales, have they, Lucy? No, I'm popping up all over the UK, and so are these hidden histories. For instance, at Willow Tree Primary in Harrogate, they've had a great reveal. They can now clearly see where the air raid shelters were from their school. Very useful for years five and six because they've been studying World War II. So even the curriculum is combining with the heat wave. Let's go on to County Down in Northern Ireland. Now this is their second reveal of the month at this site, no less. And the water's dropped so low in the Spelga Re Reservoir that they can see the old bridge that was there before the river was dammed. And it, not only can they see it, it's actually accessible. But I am here at Clumber Park in Nottinghamshire and this is amazing because you can't see it now because it w fell into disrepair and was demolished 80 years ago but this was a very significant country house seat of the uh, Dukes of Newcastle and it was very very important. Now if you go into the air look from the drone and we've overlaid a graphic you start to get a sense of the stature and importance of this site and I am joined by Ellen Ryan who's head history boffin. Good evening Ellen. Hello. Thanks for joining us, or thanks for having us. <laughs> Tell us a little bit more about the house, its stature, and what the heat wave has revealed. So we know there's been a house here since the medieval period, home to the Dukes of Newcastle, and it's been expanded upon over the years to keep up with the Joneses and to show their wealth and their opulence. And now we can literally walk the corridors and walk through the rooms thanks to the parch marks. It's so exciting for you, isn't it's it? It's really wonderful. So this was the library? Yeah, the library okay. full of amazing books. Yes, and now we're walking along a posh, a very posh corridor. Basically. Yes, so this corridor would have had Roman style mosaic flooring, and this is where the Dukes of Newcastle would have shown off a lot of their wealth, a lot of the statuary collected by generations, and paintings for great masters would have hung on the walls. Okay, now tell me about the Second World War, because this is quite funny. Yes, so the house was demolished in 1938, and then in 1939 the park was handed to the military, and the military were billeted to the house. They even were assigned specific rooms. They turned up and they found there was no house here, so that says a little bit about military intelligence. Oh, oh, cruel, cruel. So tell us what happens next for you briefly, because now all the hard work starts. Yes, so this is fantastic. Over the next five days, we're doing Lost Treasures Uncovered, an archaeology project in the mansion site, where we'll be opening up trenches and see what is beneath these parch marks. Oh my God, it's so exciting. I want to hang... 